Hi, right, it's me here again. Okay, in this video I'll just explain or try to explain how to create a, something that you can put in your Sony Vegas video, like a uh, slide at the end. Uh, one of the other videos I had editing text, but uh, this is putting a slide which is a little bit more customizable than editing, editing text. So, the first thing to do is crank up PowerPoint or whatever type of uh, paint program you have. I'm going to use PowerPoint. I'm just going to go with a regular regular slide. Then I'm going to go ahead and uh, change it to just a blank slide. I'm using uh, Power 2002, which whatever you, you may use Photoshop, you may use whatever. It's all good. Um, fact is, we're just going to create a. Uh, the reason why I'm creating the PPT uh, PowerPoint is because it creates GIFs and JPEGs. That's the reason why I'm doing it. Alright, so I'm creating a text box here. And I'm going to call it There's. There's more. Uh, more add R. Technology blog and then uh, W uh, sorry HTTP whatever level dot com blog okay that's that's good then I'm gonna go ahead and save it because I don't want to like mess up with me. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and format it, I'm going to change the font to, uh, let's see, 40, uh, 66, let's see, 60, center this, and then I'm going to change the background of this, the slide, so I'm going to right click and most of these are right click, this is the shortcut menu, then background and I don't I don't want any of these, so I'm going to go over here right, uh, choose this little drop down, I get uh, fill effects, then I'm going to go over here to texture and choose one of these cool colors, uh, how about this? This, uh, this marble thing apply to all now uh, now I want this text to be uh, uh, I want the text text to be you see this little uh, the squiggle, squiggly marks get closer together that's how I know that I have the text box that focused and I want to change the color to uh, like a red because red is really bold, stands out. So there's more in our technology blog, logo.com blog, and really I want it bold because you really can't see it. All right, so when it's all said and done, then I'm gonna go over here, file, save as, and uh, I want to save this as a image. I want just the slide that I made. So I'm gonna go over here and find where I can save it as a here's a GIF or a JPEG. I'm gonna save it as JPEG. Just just a nice render. Okay. And uh, choose the folder you're gonna save it in. I chose slide. It's kind of basic, but and really I'm not giving it any name. And I want to, I want to do, uh, let's see if you see this, every slide, this is one anyway. Alright, so mission accomplished, I think that's it. Okay, here's my slide. And when you open it up, double click on it, that's the slide. Alright, next, I'm going to go over here and crank up. Uh, uh, yeah, okay, my tutorials, and, uh, so, here I want to go ahead and crank up 
Sony Movie Studio Platinum 9.0 or whatever you have. I'm really cranking out my video editing software here. Here's a previous video. I'm gonna go ahead and do new project here. I would call it uh, slide tutorial. Slide tutorial. Then finish. Okay, and now I get this blank, this blank uh, slideshow. Man. Let's see if I go on it. Okay, it's all good. Now I want my slide. So if you know where your, your stuff is, uh, you probably won't be jumping around as much as I am, but Okay, basic thing is I want to put the slide in this in this part right here, and I'm gonna drag it. So you could drag and drop it to Sony, Sony uh, Vegas Movie Studio. So drag it and drop it in. Wow. Okay, and then I need a sample video, so I'm just gonna go over here and. Take one of these videos that I have. Uh, tutorials. I have all these tutorials here. How about uh, how about this one? This one's always good. I just need some some in here to show the uh, show the end result. Some okay. Here I have a video and I have a JPG. So I'm taking my video and putting it on the video track. And I'm taking my going to the end of the video. So I'm pressing my page down key right now to jump to the end. Blah 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 blah. Let's find the end. I just want to find the end of this so I can I can drag drag my vid my image here and put it at the end. Okay, that's good. And really, I don't want to see everything because it's going to be too long and boring. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do a. Uh, I'm going to go to like the this point on my video and press the S key to split it, and then I'm going to press delete. I'm going to click on that track and delete it because I don't want it that long and boring. So. Privacy is rising, but you'd want to see the end result. Okay. Alright. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. At least I did. At least I'll know. Uh, that's the next time that, that's my did. video, by the way. So, uh, signing off, this is Eric Lobel. This is an easier way to create tags on your video. It's more customizable, too, in my opinion. So you create your, your slide, and there it is. There's my slide. Okay, that's pretty well it. And uh, okay, one last thing before I'm totally done. This is the alternative: is to uh, insert text media and type over this stuff, and you can format it that way too. But um, and then, then go ahead and stretch it, sample tags. Eh, you could do it if you want, but this, you could add your credits, you can stretch it out, uh, I guess you can stretch it the other one too, but this one is more customizable, you can put your own background on it and stuff like that, so. Anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and come to uh, lobal.com blog. Uh, for more technology videos or you can go to the Sony Vegas tutorials that, that I have they're they're basic and so they're from a learner's perspective me <laughs> so have a great day or night or whatever you're watching this thanks bye